the story of Frankenstein in two beats. One, Frankenstein builds a monster. Two, Frankenstein's really, really sorry he built a monster. More on the plot after this. Okay, that's an oversimplification, so let's try this. One, young Victor Frankenstein, natural philosopher, seeks and finds, he thinks, the secret of life. Two, he builds his beast out of spare body parts. Three, he brings his beast to life only to realize, I've created a monster! Four, he's about to run home to daddy, literally, when he discovers. Five, his brother's been killed by the monster. And therein lies the rest of the story. Frankenstein tries to run from the monster, but he can't. He tries to save those close to him from the consequences of his actions, but he can't. He tries to placate the monster by building it a beastly bride, but he can't bring himself to go through with it. And when Frankenstein decides to take the monster down himself, he's defeated by the ice and the cold in a frantic dog sled chase toward the North Pole. The story ends where it began, but with one twist, the surprising revelation of the monster's remorse for the suffering he'd caused, and the ruin brought by Victor Frankenstein's lust for knowledge.